What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. This is episode one of our ZetaCraft SMP recap. We're going to be recapping it just like Empires and Hermitcraft. There are so many up and coming creators on this server building some incredible things so you guys really need to go and check them out. I've listed all the ZetaCraft members down in the description below so you guys can go and check out all their channels and see the amazing things that they are building. But in today's episode, I'm joined by some friends and we're going to go ahead and tour the shopping district of ZetaCraft SMP so far. So this is actually season 2 of ZetaCraft and this server has only been up for about a month. It started right after 1.19 came out and everybody has just been grinding, working so hard on this server so far and there has been so much progress made. So let's go ahead and check out this shopping district. And exactly. how, how long has this server been at? What is about a month now, right? I think so, a month. Like a little bit more than a month. Yeah, just over a month. And I guess we can we can fly around here a little. This shopping... Oh my god. I need to turn these shaders off for right now. This shopping district is insane so far. It is crazy. It is so much. It is. And, like, these builds right here... All of the, these four buildings all went up just this last week like within the last few days here uh to be honest almost i made them i put them up i designed them in a day and i put them up in a day this really shows how fast zetacraft is moving geek designed these buildings put them all up in a day and they look incredible they're also going to be unique shops all selling items from the drop conglomerate which we'll explain a little bit more later the first shop we're going to check out today is this incredible rocket over here. This thing looks so cool. It's got a layered glass effect for its boost and the entire rocket design just looks so good. It looks like a rocket from real life. But this shop was built by Splashes in Puddles. Splashes built this incredible shop and has some amazing builds on the server already other than this. We'll check those out in the next video. This shop, of course, though, is a rocket shop. It sells both rockets and elytras, even if currently it is currently out of elytras. But it is selling all these items for great prices. Next up, we are checking out one of the shulker shops on the server, and this was built up by Boss Builds and Maya Quest. This thing is insane. It's got the design of a Mayan pyramid, and you can also see there are just statues of shulker boxes all across this thing that look so cool and really blend in with this theme uh, that they went for for this temple. The inside, of course, is where you actually buy these shulkers. They sell dyed shulkers and undyed shulkers. And they really went all out on designing this massive shop in order to sell those shulker boxes. The inside down here looks so cool. Easy access from both the ground and the roof, so no matter how you're getting here. And it's all spaced out. You can buy all your shulkers, anything that you want down here. My quest also has another shop just over here. And it is called Glow. This one... Don't don't go in with shaders yeah i i currently have the complimentary shader pack on oh my god i always forget about the shakers so this shop is very bright when you have shaders on obviously it is called glow though for a reason it sells all the lighting blocks in minecraft and that's anything that emits light even enchanting tables which is so cool and you probably also notice these shriekers right out front, so you always know when you're entering one of these shops. The other orb over here, also built by Maya Quest, sells all the Guardian Farm items, so of course the Prismarine blocks. And the Sea Lanterns that he gets from the Guardian Farm are all sold over in the other shop, Glow. Just behind Glow, there is another very new shop. This one is built up by Dark Witch, and this is actually going to be an art gallery. Dark Witch's plan with this is to be selling map art and to be making map art to put inside of here. There are two banners in here already, and these banners have a really great tail behind them. That's what she can say. And she has two uh, banners on right now, which is the Sleeping Enderman in the Void. And she has a, a polar bear, as you can see, in the snowstorm. Our next shop that we're checking out over here is by Boss Builds. And this airport went up on the server probably about a week in. It went up so fast. Boss Builds is incredible at getting things done. This thing is made out of a lot of quartz, so that was definitely a lot of work. 
but this huge airport over here sells firework rockets. Inside the plane, you can buy individual stacks of fireworks, and if you go up in the tower, you can actually request a shulker box of rockets to be filled for a relatively small amount of diamonds. These builds look so good though, boss builds definitely went all out and is still going all out on this server, so definitely go and check out his channel down below. Next up we are going to be checking out Drop, and since Geek and Cable are part of Drop, I'll go ahead and let them explain it. Our whole idea of this season is steampunk style, and we're a group of uh, five people. It's uh, Cable, Ice, Jewel, me, and Megadega. And uh, yeah, we're going steampunk style, we want to go into the air, flying machines, balloons, and this is the first thing we build in the shopping district. So Drop is a team of five that is working hard to get basically every farm in the game so that they can sell everything. And they've been succeeding so far. They have raid farms, they have shulker farms, they have so much going on. And they are selling everything from golden carrots to elytras to netherite ingots and so much more. It is really cool to see, but it's also very hurtful to the pockets because I have definitely spent a lot of diamonds here so far. Yes, I have, I've spent probably about 200 diamonds so far on the server. <laughs> Dude, that is a lot. I All in drop too, right? Uh, most of them at drop, yeah. Next up, we have another shop from Drop. This one was recently built up by Jewel, and Jewel did an incredible job on this, and even came and bought a bunch of logs over at my shop. But this shop right here is not really a shulker shop. It's actually going to be selling bulk items in shulker boxes. They are producing a ton of shulker boxes from their shulker farm, so now they have the ability to just sell shulker boxes of huge items that they are making at their farms. This shop actually just recently was finished being built, so it isn't fully stocked yet, but you can see here those green shulker boxes are filled with cobblestone, and I'm sure everything else is going to be some form of color-coded, but it's going to be super useful for getting these bulk items later in the game. Next up, our next shop over here is the Chum Bucket. This thing looks amazing. This was built up by Beef and Cheese, and this is going to be selling different items from uh, a Guardian farm. Unfortunately, it's not stocked yet, but it is soon to be, and you can also see that there are very similar things to the Chum Bucket inside of here, like Karen the Computer. Up top on the roof is a target block system where we were all led inside for a coupon scavenger hunt and as we are taking aim at the target blocks a warden was released inside the chum bucket which was a bunch of chaos but also a ton of fun. Next up from Arizona Hobby Gaming we have the Frog Light and Slime Shop. This shop went up very quick on the server as well. You can see the entire floor here is made of slime blocks with frog lights underneath which is super cool and also very hard to walk on. But Arizona Hobby has built a few different shops on the server so far. This was one of the first super useful shop. I've bought both frog lights and slimes from this shop already and it looks incredible as well. Although the floor probably could use a bit of cleaning to make it a little easier to walk on. Next up, going over to one of Arizona's other shops over here. This one was a really fun shop. Uh, it's got a lot of great decorations on the outside, but the inside here, you actually put a diamond in and got a slip to buy one of the items that he had in here. Unfortunately, uh, we kind of abused it a little because it was a great design, and it is currently under construction to be reworked into something else. Also, there are a lot of different fun things happening on the server, one of which is just over here in the shopping district. There are different factions on the server now, all under the different flower types. Uh, myself, almost average, and Arizona, of course, have, jo have joined the, uh, the cuddly cacti, the cactus crew, as I like to call them. Uh, one of the newer factions on the server uh, is this uh, Don the Black. Uh, part of the the Wither Rose gang, and uh, I've unfortunately made a deal that if they kill me with the Wither Rose, the I have to join. So. Something else that is just starting up is Skedaddle Skadoodle, and basically this is an organized prank war where a bunch of us on the server signed up. There are some rules to it, some cleanup rules, things like that for these pranks, but whoever has the hoe is going to be the one that is doing the prank. So it should be a lot of fun and I'm very excited to see what comes of it. And uh, right behind the, the shopping district portal here 
is another shop from a dark witch. This is a which moss is a shop. A lovely tree. Really nice tree. Really cool shop down here underneath the roots. We've got azalea, azalea leaves, uh, all the good moss stuff down here. Really cool looking shop. The next shop we have here is built by Almost Average, myself, and this is Logs and Hogs. So Logs and Hogs is of course a log shop on the inside of this hog right here. I've partnered up with Arizona Hobby Gaming and he is supplying logs for the shop as well and we are splitting the diamonds 50-50. It's a great alliance that benefits everybody on the server as we are selling ridiculously cheap logs and even have bulk orders for anybody who needs a lot of logs on the server. Our next shop over here is built by Guru. This one sells different types of armor under the guise of different clothing. So we've got hats, socks, pants, and they are all fairly reasonable price for fully enchanted armor. There's also a bargain bin up top that sells very cheap armor, but of course doesn't have the same enchantments as the armor down here. We got hats. Like an H&M. Pants. <laughs> it's like an H&M, exactly. Next up, over by Logs and Hogs, we have a shop from Hypnojo. This one sells all the mud-related items, the packed mud, everything like that, and it's right underneath these beautiful mangrove trees right here. You go down inside here and you find all the different mud types. I really like the layout of this shop. It looks really cool, and the shop is currently even sold out. People love mud. Next up over here where Drop has these four buildings put up, this one right in the middle is a dirt shop. It sells dirt and grass blocks and then the ones on the side of it all sell different blocks that can be super useful for Minecraft. So let's go ahead and check those out. This first one over here is still currently stocking but it is a deep slate shop so it's going to be selling the cobbled and regular deep slate variants for everybody to purchase over here. Uh, all for one diamond per stack, which I gotta say is a pretty good price for Deep Slate. Next up right here, this building, and by the way, all these buildings look like what they sell inside of them. So this one is gonna sell sand, sandstone, those type of blocks. It is also still stocking for the most part, but one of the coolest parts, other than the AC not working, is that it actually has a bin of free stuff right there, which is great. Next up, we'll pass by the dirt shop since we checked that one out, but this last shop on the end right here sells gravel and a site and these stone variants, which make a lot of sense if you take a look at the outside of the building. Up here, Arizona Hobby has another shop up at the top of this mountain here, and this is a beacon shop. This shop went up insanely quick on the server as well, and its prices are crazy. It's one diamond block for a beacon, and he also throws in a free base with every beacon. I've already bought two of these, and I know there's other people on the server that have bought way more than me. I'm talking like 15 beacons. So it's a very popular shop, and it's very easy since he has a wither farm as well, but I gotta say, fighting that with many withers does not sound like a good time. Next up, one of my favorite shops on the server, this is the Word Wall. Now if you've ever played Skyrim, you recognize this immediately. This shop is so cool. Obviously, it's a word wall where the dragonborn can learn a new word from the dragon language, and it even has a huge dragon on top here, which looks insanely cool. Now, one really cool thing is I actually have the two creators of this here to talk about it. This has been a very successful store, to say the least, with regards to making diamonds for the two of us. Uh, together, we've created Dwemer Industries, the really lean into the Skyrim theme for our season, and one of the things we thought about was if we we're going to make a bookstore, we should probably use something from Skyrim to sell it. And when you really think about where you get your power ups in Skyrim, it's from the word walls. And what is a book but a power up in Minecraft? So it's a perfect blend of the two ideas and the two games. But then we need a marketing strategy, and that's where the dragon came in. We were perked way up here on the very top in typical Skyrim fashion of being way out the way with these word walls. So we wanted to think of a way to kind of catch all the other shoppers' eyes and what better way than to put, you know, a giant, giant, giant dragon. Yeah, giant dragon will do the trick. <laughs> 
Two more things to go along with this shop. Of course, uh, they have a name for their industry of the season, and that is Dwimmer Industries. If you've played Skyrim, you get that. If you haven't played Skyrim, not going to be as huge of a fan of this, but it's still very cool to see. But another great thing about Dwimmer Industries is that every time you make a transaction with them, you get 16 golden carrots, which I have kept myself fed through the entire season so far just off of food given to me by both Dwimmer Industries and also by Drop. And one more thing with this, the dragon up top does not have a name yet, but both Ricky and Time are taking submissions for names in their comment sections. So if you have a name for this dragon, go ahead over to Time Architect or Ricky CFT's channel, watch their video and drop a comment with a name for the dragon, and you might make it into the ZetaCraft season. If you use the zoom function uh, and you look right from this angle at the face, it really tells you, Hey guys, you want to buy a book? <laughs> <laughs> the last shop we are checking out today is from Megateca, and this is an armor stand placement shop. This is super useful because we have the armor stand data pack on the Zetacraft server, which means we can make a lot of really cool custom armor stands, and Megateca is selling his services in those because he is extremely good at making these armor stands. But this shop has a little secret to it. I like secrets. If you go up here, Ooh. so everybody who's watching now, don't tell anybody this, okay? Yeah, don't, don't say anything. So this is Seda the mice. If you want somebody dead, you can ask Megateca to do it. And apparently a lot of people on the server want me dead, and I don't know why. <laughs> But that is basically all the time that we have for today. We really only have enough time to go through the shopping district on ZetaCraft. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to tune in later this weekend where we'll be putting out part two, where we actually go and check out these starter bases for everyone on ZetaCraft. And you're definitely gonna wanna see that because these starter bases on this server are just as amazing as all the shops in this shopping district right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you enjoyed any of these shops, go and check out the channels down below. They have some incredible videos and some incredible builds out there. So go and check them out. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.